so hey guys uh, today we are going some you know hands on uh, some aws services so it's like you can see that this is spotify project and this is the architecture of uh, uh, the you know so what we are basically do, we are using s3 blue and a thinner quick set so basically we have to ingest the data in s3 and then using bloom we can again uh, do convert in the s3 data warehouse i think using the crawler we are querying the data in the athena and we can use the dashboard using the quick site this is like simple use case using data engineering uh, so uh, so you know let's just go to the console and let me show you what i done so basically first we create the amp service which is give the access to s3 access using glue services so you know let's just go there and check it out so as you can see this is the our i am console and here I create the one service which is called uh, Clue S3, which I give the permission. It is the S3 full assist and cloud watch assist for uh, log uh, watching. So I create it within one hour. Yeah. So just today is created one hour ago. And next we have, we have to see the in S3. So here I created the Spotify uh, bucket and here I created three fold, which is first fold is the staging. And here we load the data. So basically I show you where to we have to get the data. So this is a Kaggle data set from Spotify. Uh, I'll link mention down below. So yeah, this one. It includes all the trending music, artists, and album names. Uh, you see, this these are the five data sets. So I'll link uh, mentioned below. So we have to download this one and we have to upload in this, you know, this S3. So this is artist, track, and the album. Now, uh, data warehouse is like when we do process from the blue. It, the data will came here and the Athena output, which is, uh, you know, which is if you do query in the Athena, it will came here. Now, let us go to the glue, right? Here is the glue. And if you see glue has good interface and now recently came up and we go to the TL jobs. Uh, so, this is this based how they have visual detail. I mean, you, you can create with anything you want. So this is our like source destination. We are using ST. So already I created, but I'll show you how this look like. So this Spotify project I created. And so, yeah. So first S3 to S3, I take it. This is album and the artist. You have to give the location from the S3, which is the CSV font. And there two I joined by the inner join. And the primary key is the artist, and artist ID and the ID. Now that join I give with a track. So this both by inner join and there uh primary key is the track id if you see here right uh and this one is the drop field because we have a lot of duplicates here uh, so i drop the track id uh, which i don't want uh, so that is for transformation and then in the end we have loading the destination which is amazon s3 uh, data warehouse so yeah, and then here 
in job details you have to give the i am assess role which is our main uh, permission which we created policy so yeah and then if you run it it will you know run the job and good thing is it automatically create the page path uh, you know this one uh, script for you that's uh, you know beauty of the glue uh, so if you see i already run this uh, thing by the way you know be aware the glue is already costing you what like how many times if you're running the glue job it will cost you according to your run time so yeah already it saw the success status it takes the two minutes to run the by the way i give the 10 dpu you don't have to give 10 dpu you can uh run on the five dpus uh, so this is i i cost this cost me much but yeah let's see uh and if we see the you know our you can see the locks also but the uh, I didn't give the cloud watch assist, so you can't see here. Uh, so let's just go to the you know data warehouse. If we see data warehouse, the parquet file which is loaded after the succeeding succeeding the running job, with this many files is loading after the job. Now what we have to do? Let's just go back to our architecture. So till here we've done the process, right? Now from data warehouse, we have to take, crawl the data using the data uh, glue crawler. And we have to uh, query from Athena. So let's just see here. Uh, again, we go to, uh, you know, uh, glue. But before that, you have to create the database in the glue because without database, you can't crawler, crawler the you know data. Here I create the data pipeline, which is the database. And here I added the, you know, if you can do add table and then I added from the S3. So if you do add then this, this many schema, it automatically detect. So as you can see, all the columns from the our table or the you know, CSV file is uh, showing here. So this is good thing about Glue Crawler. They are automatically detect the uh, the data. So the, you see that we are fetching from the data warehouse is here. And yeah, so that's good. So now our next step is to query the data. Now, if you go to the Athena, so if you are doing first time, the Athena will ask you, to, you know, link your Athena query to the S3 uh, bucket. So that's why, you know, I uh, told you before that I created Athena output because without that, you can't do query in Athena. So yeah, let's just do that. And so here automatically it will appear the data D, D, D pipeline, uh, which is the database. And here is the data warehouse and all the columns are reflecting here. So already I create, <laughs> do a query. So, you know, if, if, if you do like something, select uh, uh, album name, album ID, album name, album popularity, Artist uh, churn. So if you if we run this thing, you know, so let us run. And basically you have to limit the something because this data is like have thousand of thousand rows. So it will load your uh, GPU, right? So you have to limit the thing. Now it is completed, it will take milliseconds. So you can see the album ID, album name, album popularity and then artist gender. So yeah, so this is how working the Athena query, you can do query from the S3 data. Uh, so till now, if you see in the architecture, we came here, now our next uh, destination is the quick set. So quick set is basically the, you know, visualization uh, tool, which is kind of, uh, like you know, Power BI or Tableau. 
so you can query you can you know make a dashboard from there so let's just see how the quick site is so this is a quick site if you are you know opening the first site first time quick site then you have to you know logging separately from your account so i already did that and if you see you know there are a lot of uh, dashboard here if you, if you see a lot of uh bar is graph is there so you can create dashboard from here let's just take uh, you know uh, region uh, salesperson so you know so this is how you can create the graph um so yeah and this kind of you can create so many things but for us what we have to do is like we have to go to data set because we have to use our own set data right so let's just go to the home page we have the data sets so you know we have to use our data warehouse data set so yeah so this is the data warehouse we created in our blue and if you can use this data set. now the state is saying uh, input is filled because i didn't give the permission for a uh, click quick site so it, it will not show here but when you give the permission it will directly you know show your data here so that's the beauty of the quick site in the aws you can do anything in that one so yeah we didn't say that this you know small use case is very good like you, you can use this as a project all so yeah if you need anything you can ping me down i can come 